part of the confusion that can happen when you go to the paint store and you're looking at all these tubes of paints is that even once you figure out what the color is that you want, different brands are going to have different variations on colors. So all three of these are called alizarin crimson. And the reason I'm picking alizarin crimson for this comparison video is that uh, the original alizarin crimson color was fugitive, which meant that it, it changed um, sometimes within about six months. And so companies started really trying to figure out how to make their own alizarin crimson so that people could still use the color, but not have it um, change on them. Which, you know, it's frustrating if you're painting as you meant it, only lasts six months. So here we have three different brands. And in case you're curious, I have the uh, Liquitex. I'm not sure what year this is from. It's a new color position. I'm sure it's not new anymore. Uh, the Golden open which is the one I love um, just the brand in general so I use this one a lot and this one um, M Graham and Co I'm sure this was something I got for free I don't think I bought this one uh, but I was looking through my my random bin of paints trying to figure out um, how many different alizarins I had so you can see that this one over here is a much brighter, warmer red. This one is probably closest to the original idea because the original alizarin crimson is kind of like a blood red or maybe a brick red. Um, and then this is the, the Liquitex one, which is kind of in between the two, maybe a little bit closer to the golden. So be aware that you're going to have a variation between brands. So if you go to the store and you just buy what's on sale and you think you're going to get the same color because it has the same name, it's not necessarily true. Please like and subscribe for more or visit my website at kristenonealart.com for online classes.